I'm Dr. Amy Norville with Virginia Equine Imaging in Middleburg, Virginia. I'm going to talk to you today about safely trailering your horse. Transport is a stressful event for the horse and research has shown that it is linked to health problems such as shipping fever, colic and dehydration. The longer the journey is, the increased chance there is that your horse will have health problems. In addition, it's strenuous for your horse to be shipped as they're continually adjusting their position and trying to maintain their balance with the movement of the trailer. You should plan the route to your destination first and become familiar with veterinary clinics along the way. So if you need to seek medical assistance for your horse, you can quickly and easily get them to a veterinarian. At the same time, you should plan your stops. It's recommended that you stop every four hours to check on the horses give them an opportunity to rest and to drink water. It's recommended not to travel for more than 12 hours in one day. Make sure you have all necessary veterinary health permits in advance if you'll be transporting your horse across state lines. In addition, it's a good idea to get together a travel safety kit for your horse and have it easily accessible during the journey. Common items included in the kit include bandaging supplies, ointments, topical antiseptics, antibiotics, and anti-inflammatories. You'll also want to include tools such as scissors, nail pullers, a thermometer, and duct tape. As shipping is stressful, it's beneficial to get your horse used to the trailer in advance. Make sure he is comfortable loading, standing on the trailer, and unloading. That way, on the day of travel, you'll be as least stressed as possible. You want to monitor your horse's health status in advance of shipping. Take their temperature once or twice daily for several days in advance. Also monitor their hydration status. If you have any concerns about your horse's health, have your veterinarian evaluate him before he travels. Ideally, horses should have wraps or shipping boots on all four legs when they travel. However, you need to make sure that they fit your horse appropriately and he's comfortable wearing them. One of the primary concerns during traveling is the air quality of the air that your horse breathes. We want to minimize the amount of dust and particles that he inhales during the journey. It's okay to have bedding in the trailer. However, you want to minimize it so that you don't add too much dust and air particles to the air. A little bit of bedding helps to provide cushioning and traction and will absorb any excess urine. It's also important that a horse have a steady supply of hay available to him during the travel. The hay bag should be hung at appropriate height and the hay may be soaked in advance to minimize the dust that it adds to the air. On arrival, carefully inspect your horse for any injuries and try to get them back to their regular routine as soon as possible. You want to continue to monitor their temperature for three to seven days following the trip and evaluate their overall demeanor and appetite. If you have any concern about your horse's health, or if a horse that shipped with yours becomes ill, have your veterinarian evaluate your horse as soon as possible.